When was the last time God helped you overcome a fear? You chose to move forward despite the fact you were worried, concerned, anxious, and afraid. We've been going through this Fear Not series looking at the life of Gideon and over and over and over again in chapter 6 and then we're going to see in chapter 7 this week. God has to remind Gideon, do not be afraid. God's going to do some great things through Gideon. Not Gideon does some great things with God's help. God does the great things in and through the person and the character of Gideon. But he has to remind him often, sometimes a couple times a day, do not be afraid. We're in good company, right? Three categories of fear, just as I was thinking through this. Number one, political fear. We're in an election year, and some of us have fears about what's going to happen to our state or to our country if it goes this way or if the election goes that way. God says, do not be afraid. Be involved when it comes to politics. Be informed. Be aware. But let's make sure we're spending more time in the prayer room before we go to the ballot box. Let's make sure we're, we're praying for our nation. We're praying for our leaders. Maybe for some of us, we are consuming way too much media. It might be talk radio. It might be a certain uh, news that we're consuming, we're reading, we're watching, we're listening to. And if that's you, I know that's been me in the past. Um, cut down the amount of media that you are consuming. Listen, media is designed to create a certain amount of fear. And so what would it look like for you to and I to consume less of that? So there's political fears. Let's be more concerned with the kingdom of God coming to earth, praying and being involved in helping people meet Jesus, okay? So political fears. There may be some professional fears that we might have when we think about our career. We're worried about uh, maybe being overlooked or we're worried about if I apply for this job, the risk that that's going to require of me. And there's there's worry and there's there's fear. Listen, at the end of the day, you do your best, you work hard, you put your family first, and then you trust God with the results. Let me say that again. You work hard, you put your family first, you do your absolute best, and you trust God with the results. Um, be the best employee that God's called you to be. But at the end of the day, let's not allow fear and worry, fear about the meeting, fear about our, our, our boss, worry, concern. Let's ultimately, as we're told in Colossians, work Whatever you do, you work with it, at it with all your heart. We work for God. We don't work for man. And so, so do your best. What other fears are there? So we talked about political fears. We talked about professional feel, fears. There may be some personal fears that you have. And you, you think about those. I could never do this. Even though you may be sensing God asking you to do those things, what are they? Uh, do something difficult every day. Growth does not come out of our comfort. Growth comes from discomfort. If you and I were to have coffee with Gideon, that would be what he would say. Listen, I was never prepared. I was never ready, but God called me to do some things that were extremely uncomfortable, that were scary to him. And yet God used him in a mighty way to save the nation of Israel from the Midianites. What is that thing that God's calling you to do and you are shaking in your boots? Uh, recently, I baptized somebody who was afraid of water, right? That's a legitimate fear. There was something that happened in their life and God called them to be baptized. That took tremendous courage and tremendous trust. And what is it that God's calling you to do that you're, you're shaking in your boots? Move toward it, right? Move toward it. Take It takes faith and trust in God. Uh, and God says to you today in that area, do not be afraid. What is it? Maybe, let me ask you this question. When was the last time God helped you overcome a fear? Because you trusted him and you moved forward in faith. As we go through this series, Fear Not, I don't think it's possible to live with no fear, zero fear, but what would it look like to live life with a little less fear? 
Uh, that's my prayer for you, that you would live life with less fear. Would you join me as I pray for you today? Father, thank you that you remind us today to, to not be afraid. As follower of Jesus, may we live with the mentality to live as Christ and to die as gain. We are in a win-win. And so may we be known as people of faith who take risks, healthy risks, risks for the kingdom of God. And then we trust you, God, with the results of that. So for, for all of us, may we move forward in faith. Uh, God, we're going to trust you. Give us courage of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. May you live today with a little less fear, trusting, trusting God. Have a great rest of your week.